Paul's Heart World, part 2 of Everybody Can Paint. Kind of inspiration for all the people who love art. In the first video you saw me starting after two years starting with painting. Everything went wrong and it goes more wrong in this video. I was gone and I made everything more black. And at the right you see the good thing. And look, look, look. Yeah, what do you do when... When you see that it isn't good, I love mistakes because then I have to think, all right, what can I do to achieve something? It doesn't have to be a masterpiece, but I want something at the end. So you try and, and what I said, after two years not painting, a lot of skills you don't have anymore. So I thought, all right, maybe I have to get more light in the painting itself. So I made a little darker around it and then stuffed away. And that didn't work very good because it was already a bit dirty. And if you always go straight that way, you, at the end you don't see anything. But when you once go to your right or to your left, then you see new things and that's when when you get uh, when some something goes wrong then you have to choose all right i have to do something else so this is what you see now i'm struggling and struggling and putting a little bit this and but it, it didn't work at all then i had the idea and i think it will come soon to take the crayon in it to get more white in it because that I saw I didn't look at my painting and at my photo anymore I look now at my painting and see what's not right what is not good for it it's getting a little bit more better but not satisfying not satisfying doing a little bit of this and yes yeah, always I am a man who makes a lot of mistakes because I forget a lot and then I have to change it and but on the other hand then you always get new ideas can I do it this way or can I do it that way like there are a lot of artists who always do the same oh here you see I started with the color and the white crayon I let it go I talk on when people when artists do always the same they can do that their whole life they make always the same kind of paintings I don't like that. I don't like that to know, all right, when I do this, 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 then I get that at the end. I like it that it is new for me, that I have to choose a new way, that I have to choose something else, and then see what happens, like what I did now. I, I, I didn't know what to do, so I put it white. You see it over there, there's a little bit white of crayon. I use some colors, pencils on it, and just moved on a little bit from, oh, this is getting, this is getting to something. Not a masterpiece. Oh no, it's not a masterpiece. If you want a masterpiece, then you have to have a lot of money and buy you a Rembrandt, not a Paul Harms. This is not a masterpiece. This is just the way I work. And for some people, it's difficult to understand it because they want it like a tutorial. You have to do this, and then you have to do that, and then you do that, and then at the end you get a beautiful painting. And I say, don't do this, try that, throw your coffee over it, uh, take another color, uh, put it upside down, I've done it a lot of times, put it upside down, paint it over it, and then you got new things that you see. Oh, this is interesting. This is not the same what I did yesterday and what I did the week before and what I did a month before. It changes that when you see my whole collection, and you will see it soon on my website because there's going to be a beautiful gallery. Yes, there's going to be a beautiful gallery. But you will see there totally different kind of art. Now, most of the art that I paint are men, but still, they're still different. Still different in the way I treat my artwork. Sometimes it's just simple. 
and sometimes it's with a lot of decorations and that what was not the intention at the beginning of the painting it started little by little and at the end then you get something you didn't expect and now you say oh this is almost ready yes it's almost ready but it isn't ready because i thought during making this kind of thing what shall i do with it it's not a masterpiece and all right put it somewhere in your bureau and that's it and then i thought oh maybe i can do something with it on photoshop yes the new technique and Rembrandt didn't, have, Rembrandt didn't have Photoshop, but we now today have Photoshop and all kinds of those things. And I'm not really a master in it. I learned it two years ago. But with this painting, I started to make something totally not expected. And that's what I like. So now you see almost the end of this. It, it's, it got better. It got better. Uh, I'm not proud of it, but it got better. And, and that's only because I looked more and more. All right, where are the shades? Where are, do I have to put some color in it? I, I love the underpants. I was so happy I didn't put color on the underpants because that's really white. So that I wanted to have white. And uh, But you see, I struggle with the head. and But still... I think at the end it's it's getting better and better. The color helps also and it helps also when you later go in Photoshop and there's a little bit of color in it and you can use it and but you'll see that in the next video. All right, this uh, this is a bit what I, I wanted to show you today. This is almost the end of the of the painting uh, with the pencil. And uh, yeah, mistakes, mistakes. I I like to make mistakes not that I did do it uh, it's 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 always happening and that's so funny mistakes are doing things wrong that happens and other people will throw it then away because it's a mistake and I say what can I do with that because I don't believe in mistakes in art but that is, isn't it's because there's a mistake, it's gonna be interesting. You use other things than you are normally used to do. So this is uh, a bit what it is now. I'll show you the end of the video. Look, this is the end of the video, yeah. And then the next time we go in Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I will show you how I worked with that, because that is really getting interesting. You'll see that in the third video and in the fourth video. Yeah, there's comes something you really didn't expect. So, I still hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the next video, we go on with Photoshop. Bye bye. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Yes, a lot of people subscribed the last few days. Super. Uh, that's, uh, that's good. That's a good support for an artist like me. Thank you. Bye bye.